guys, I'm Steve Good. Welcome to My Scroll Saw Workshop. I'm going to post a pattern on my blog here in just a few minutes at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. And what we're going to do is we're going to build this little toy uh, airplane. And uh, I've already finished it, but I just want to give you some details on how to put it together. And then I'll just point you over to uh, the pattern and you should be able to take care of it from there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in on this and give you some tips on how to put it together. Okay, here's a little toy biplane uh, that we're going to put together tonight. And uh, I used uh, walnut for the fuselage and uh, oak for all the wings and the propeller. And I used some uh, walnut dowel stock, quarter inch dowel stock. Uh, for the dowels we need. Now, first thing I want to do is I want to show you the uh, undercarriage, the structure for the wheels, and just let you see how simple that is. Basically, you'll see in the pattern that you've got uh, this uh, undercarriage right here that you're just going to glue together, and uh, the holes in the uh, uh, axle pieces right here are going to be 1764. So you want those just a little bit larger than the quarter inch so that the wheels turn nice and smooth in there. So you want to drill those at uh, 1764. The wheels are purchased wheels, but you could go ahead and cut your own if you want. If you cut your own, uh, go ahead and just drill a quarter inch hole in the middle so the quarter inch dowel will snugly fit in there. So that's pretty simple. Also you'll notice on the bottom that I used one screw in this project right here and that was just to make uh, the uh, wings attached to the fuselage really tight because um, I didn't want it coming off. Uh, the undercarriage is just glued to the bottom wing. Okay, so that's the bottom. Okay, now I want to point out the propeller and it's designed to where it'll turn and the propeller nut goes on front and again you'll, you'll use a quarter inch dowel uh, drilled into the uh, center of the fuselage, front of the fuselage and you'll go ahead and push your quarter inch dowel in there uh, put the, wind, uh, the propeller on. Again, the propeller is drilled at uh, 1764, so it spins smoothly on the quarter inch dowel. And then go ahead and glue this uh, 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 propeller nut on front of it, and that will hold the propeller on for you. Also, while we're here, notice that the uh, engine uh, cover is made out of contrasting wood. It's oak, and that's just simply uh, glued onto the front of the fuselage, and when you sand everything down, you want to sand that smooth. Okay, that's the propeller assembly. While we're here, I'll go ahead and point out the machine gun. Let me go ahead and zoom in just a little bit closer here. And if you can see this machine gun, uh, it's basically cut. Uh, it's a, it ended up being a half an inch deep. And the reason I did it that way is I wanted it to glue to the top of the wing and to the fuselage so it would give a little stability for the center of this wing so it wouldn't uh, push down the brake. So when you're putting this together, and you're making these dowels to make the wings uh, this far apart, make this machine gun so it fits between the fuselage and the top wing so you can glue it to both at the same time. Here's the rear of the plane and you can see and you'll see in the pattern that the profile is sanded to come down at a little bit of a slope towards the back wings. You've got the vertical stabilizer and again if you can look real close here you can see that the fuselage is actually cut uh, a quarter inch notch this way and a quarter inch notch this way and the fuselage, uh, the rear landing gear or, uh, or the, uh, the horizontal stabilizer, the vertical stabilizer and the rear landing gear all slide up into those slots that are cut. And uh, I've provided a 3D uh, section in the pattern so you can just uh, wrap the pattern around here and cut these out with your scroll saw. So the rear stabilizers and the undercarriage are all glued up into a slot so that it looks like this. Here's the top view of the plane. You can see that there are quarter inch holes drilled in both the upper and lower wing. And uh, that's what, uh, how you were able, I was able to get these struts in here to hold the wings together. Again, the bottom wing is attached by glue and one screw in the bottom. Okay, you want to cut out this little slot right here for the pilot. And that's pretty much all there is to the wing assembly. Um, cut these dowels right here to the length that makes this gap between the fuselage and the upper wing about a half an inch. That seems to be what looks best. And that way your machine gun will fit in there at a half an inch and give you the extra reinforcement. The last thing to notice is that, uh, again, the taper of the fuselage and 
that's pretty much all there is to putting this plane together. Um, it's probably not uh, uh, child, child safe uh, for very young children, so if you want to build this for a child, you know, make sure they're at the appropriate age where uh, they'll be able to play this, play with this without uh, getting themselves hurt. Okay, this, just a real quick little video to show you how to put this plane together. And uh, again, you can go get the pattern at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com.